Well, hello everybody, Christy Rafino here again. I am going to show you the next set of videos in my website, Creation 101. Um, I'm super excited. I've actually had an amazing day, a great event, and I just finished my masterclass on helping women be able to create their signature books. And so I'm actually kind of chilling. I've got my, my Halloween here glass of wine. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go into step two with this next video. And I'm going to get as many of these videos done as I can tonight because I'm just on a roll with my video creation and I'm on a roll with my wine consumption. Um, so let's see what we have to do. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And again, as I said in the last video, this is all completely organic and I'm hoping that I don't screw anything up and I almost showed you my credit card information um, in the last video. <laughs> But I've got to remember, all right, make a note, go back and buy chat with Christy. So we'll go and do that after I'm done. But what we're going to do is so far, we've already bought your domain. We've already installed WordPress. And remember when I showed you that little section where you needed to remember that link and it's basically your URL forward slash WP, which is for WordPress and then a little hyphen and then login. When you do that, either click that link, which you probably got an email confirmation from WordPress, sorry, from Bluehost or whoever your domain is with, with that login information. So save that. You always need that information. But once you click that link, that domain forward slash WP hyphen login, you're going to get this screen. So now you basically log in. I've got it autofill ready to go. Um, so I log in, hopefully it's right, correct, now awesome. So this is your WordPress dashboard. And so to give you a little lowdown of what is here, um, I am going to, this is all stuff, just dismiss all that, I don't care about all that. Um, quick draft, you know, you may want this, but let's what I, this is what I do, up in the right hand corner where you see screen options, you're gonna see these little, boxes to check. Now, you'll have more things on your dashboard eventually, depending on what uh, plugins that you install. Um, but you can see here, we don't necessarily need quick draft, quick draft right now. If you're going to be doing, I don't know, like if you're a big blogger, you may want to use this. I don't know. WordPress events and news. Let's get rid of that. And you can see what welcome is. Like we don't need that. And so now we just have basic activity and at a glance and you really don't, I mean, the dashboard, I kind of just like fly through. Um, I don't really use that, but I do have one of my stats, my plugin stats that will tell me my visitors that gets put on the dashboard. And I find that to be very helpful, but I will show you, um, I don't know if we'll get to that now. We'll actually do a whole video on plugins, but right now what you want to do is um, install your theme. But you can see right here on the left-hand side, we've got two little red bubbles saying that there's something we have to pay attention to. And so I'm assuming that we don't have the latest version of WordPress. No, we do. Um, we don't have the latest version of this plugin. And so it's telling you that you have to update that. Now, what I wanna do is I'm actually gonna go to the plugin page and this is gonna show our plugins. Now, these two plugins are automatically um, installed on every site. And we, we want to keep this anti-spam plugin. I, I think it's, I honestly know it's, it's pretty good. Um, it's, again, it's installed on every site. So I'm, sure, I'm assuming that it's like one of the best out there. But we want to update that. So we want to make sure we have the most current version. The other one, like this Hello Dolly, I have no idea why it's there. I don't know why. It, it basically is like a little motivational plugin, but I don't even know why. So I always delete it. Like I don't want to have plugins in here that I don't want. So now that's gone. Poof. Um, so the next thing we want to do is install our theme. So without a theme, our website does not know what to look like. And there are a ton of themes out here. I'm gonna show you what our website looks like without a theme. There's like no framework. So it's basically everything just like everywhere. So that doesn't help us. 
And so there are so many WordPress themes. If you go ahead and Google WordPress themes, you're going to be inundated with a million themes. But I'm going to give you a theme that I feel is the best one out there. Um, I've been using it for a long time. And what I like about it is that they keep evolving and they're like, I believe so ahead of the curve in so many ways. And when I see a lot of websites out there that I think that are like really cool, I always look to see what theme they're using. And it's usually always the same theme that I'm going to recommend. And so I'm going to show you a really simple trick. I'm going to show you my website. And I don't know if you've been connected with me for a long time or if you're brand new to my world, but my website always changes. And um, I'm a, a creative person. And so part, and I actually went to school for graphic design. I learned web design. I like, I love being creative. And so one of my things that I love to do is like just constantly create. And so my website always changes because of that. But you can see here, uh, this is my website, but I'm going to show you how to check out what theme I'm using. So you go to whatever site you want, you right click anywhere on that website page, and then you're going to go to view page source. And a new screen is going to show up and it's going to basically show you a bunch of data. What you want to do is you want to go down, you can see there's a lot of stuff on here. Um, because I use Entreport, there's a lot, I have a lot of things connected to my website, even though it looks really simple now. But what you wanna do is you wanna go down to where you see all of these blue links, and you're gonna go down to where you see the word theme. And what's really weird is I see the word theme, and it says I'm using a theme called, where is it? Um, where to go? Theme. All right, go back. Um, and I'm sure there's like a simple way. I'm not, I'm not like a word, uh, I'm not a coding person. I'm sure there's a really simple way to find a, your theme. I just saw something that said theme and it said smoothie. All right, let me start from the very top. Okay. Going down, do, 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 do. let's try again. Plugins, content, plugins, cookies, plugins, include, theme. Oh, that's not it. See, it says theme, but it's not. So you wanna keep going down till you see the word theme and you find out what theme I'm actually using. See, a lot of this is because I got a lot of this is probably all because of my many, yeah, this is all my many chat bot. Look at that, all that coding for a bot. Um, let's go back. See on the bottom where I've got this thing on the bottom where it's basically it's connecting to my little automated bot and that's what all this source coding is because this is a lot. I didn't, like I have no idea, this is all new. Oh my goodness. Well, that's the whole page. But it looks like that theme, or you can see all my plugins. Content, content, uploads. These are all my pictures. So we're getting back up to the top. I know, I am hope, hope I'm not boring you. Uploads, these are all, okay, go up to the, right here. Yeah, this is all because of my bot. This is crazy. Okay, so let me go to a different website. It's kind of completely Entreport, Entreport, Entreport. All right. Oh, there it is. It's over here. So right here where you can see right here, WP Content Themes, it's Dibby. So I'm going to go to, let's, let's say my... Oh, our DPWN site and all of my sites are all the same theme. So I'm going to show you, this is going to be so much easier. View page source. Okay. Again, hopefully I'm, see how it's like not as much stuff, but you go down here, you just go a little bit farther. You're going to see it. This is like where you usually see it, like all in this area here, the first set of blue links. 
So plug in, plug in, plug in, plug in, plug in, plug in, somewhere along right here, theme. That's it, it'll show you the theme. So anywhere where you see WordPress, WordPress content theme, that's where you're going to find the theme of the website you like. And that can be helpful because if you see a WordPress site you like, then you can use the same theme and get the same results. But the reason why I like Divi is because you can pretty much get any site, you, any result you want with it. And it's so versatile, so customizable, and it's all with elegant themes. Now, at one point, elegant themes used to have a ton of different themes, but now they've pretty much gone to just having one theme, which shows how versatile it is. And most of the theme sellers out there have a ton of themes because each one has its own look, but Divi can do anything with. And you see here, they've gotten rid of all of their products. They've got Divi, the all-in-one theme, extra. Uh, this is more for bloggers and online publications. This is a Divi plugin. And what that does is it's a, a way for you to use a plugin with a different theme. I don't know why people would want to do that, but it is there. Uh, Bloom is for you to do email opt-ins and then Mark Monarch is for social media plugins. Now, if you go back to my site, see on the left-hand side, you see these little social media things. Um, that is what that one does. I think it's Monarch. Um, and then once you buy the Divi theme, you get everything. So it makes it really, really cool. And let's look at what pricing is. So here's Divi, all products, Divi, Divi, plans and pricing. It's not super expensive and a yearly. So $89 for the whole year, or you pay $249 for lifetime access. Gosh, I don't even think I'm paying for lifetime access anymore. But I also think that I have like the old pricing and which makes it super, a lot more cheaper. Um, but basically all you do is you buy whatever plan you want, um, then I'm already logged in and you basically go to product downloads. Um, gosh, you know what, now my account, how much am I paying? I'm just curious. Hopefully I'm not billing. I'm not showing you anything important. Yeah, I'm paying $39 a year. So probably right now I should have done the lifetime, but either way I didn't, so. Okay, so I'm going back all products, contact account. So yeah, basically, um, let's see, let's go back home. Oh, account. So this is where you see um, what you bought and you basically download the Divi theme and then it's going to, I'm just gonna do it. Now you can see on the bottom of my screen, it's been downloaded to a zip file. I'm gonna open a new, Actually, I'm going to do this because I don't have the most current version. So this, this is all my downloads. It's still actually going through, so I don't want to open it yet. Once you download the theme, you just basically keep using it over and over again, and then you can use it on as many websites as you want, which is super cool. I pay $39 a year for all of my sites, so can't beat that. Especially, there's so many resources. Now, you basically get the zip file. I actually have a place that I put it on my, um, in my website folder. I'll come back to that in a moment. And hopefully, I don't have to rename it because I probably already have a file that says the same name, Divi Zip. Okay, so it moved. Um, but let's take one more look at this Elegant Themes site because it is pretty incredible. Um, their help, their, their videos, everything is just amazing. But what I, and I don't know why they don't have the link here. Um, I actually have the link right on my easily accessible taskbar. This is the Elegant Themes blog. And Elegant Themes is, of course, the Divi home, the people that created it. But you can see here, November 5th, November 5th. So they've got two articles out just today. The fourth, they had two. It looks like every day they've got two, two articles. Um, and this isn't just fluff. 
every article is very, very specific in, look at its design, resources, general business, WordPress stuff. Everything is just chocked full of information that you need to know about everything. And what there's a lot of look at here, Divi design showcase. So what I love about this is every once in a while they will take people's Divi designs um, and like show them bots versus cons. So you can look at these designs that people have created with their websites and it will give you some great inspiration. Look at this. Yeah, I've gotten a lot of great ideas from that. But either way, you just kind of look at the blog. Yeah, I got the blog from here somewhere. So I don't know how you find the blog from here. Contact, get in touch. Either way, I've got it saved. So just Divi Themes blog. You don't have to be a member, I don't think, to access it, but you can see a lot of great information. I'm always learning stuff. Um, let's get back to what we're doing. So what we're gonna do, I've already downloaded their Divi theme. I have that on my computer. Now I'm gonna go to Appearance, Themes, and I'm gonna add a new theme. It already always comes with certain themes, but what you wanna do is add yours. So you click Add New, Upload Theme, Choose File, and you can see, I'm gonna cancel. See, look at all these themes. There's a ton of themes that they try to, well, they don't say they try to, give you options. But I'm gonna show you how cool the Divi theme is. So now you basically go to your computer, I put mine on my website, folder. I don't know, I'm gonna to have to find the most recent one because I've probably got a thousand DB themes. Like DB modified, there it is. I'm gonna go back to this view because I'm a little anal, I like to see the same view. Install. Now I'm gonna, while it's installing, I'm gonna go back to my account. And I'm gonna get my API key. I'm gonna copy it. And then I'm gonna go back. Oh God, I've got so many windows open. Load, installing my blog. I'm right, gonna close out some of these. This is the one we want. All right, so it looks like it installed. I'm gonna go back to my themes. And you can see it's installed, but it's not actually working yet. Right now, this one here, 2019, is active. So I'm gonna go to activate. And it's active. Now what we, what we see now that wasn't there before is we see on the left-hand side of the menu, we see Divi has been added. So we're gonna go to theme options. This is the first thing you're gonna do because you gotta get it uh, alive. And somewhere on here, you're gonna put in the API key. It probably was on that first screen. Here, let me go to dashboard. No, nope. since it was probably there, customize, let's see what it says. All right, sorry guys, I'm kind of going in a circle here. We don't want this. Okay. I'm going a little too fast. Okay, so we're gonna go back to theme options. Okay, navigation, integration. There's a place to put Okay, so the very last tab that says updates, you're gonna go here, paste in your API key, and then you put your username, which I believe, yeah. Save changes, let's see what happens. Yes, yay! So now I've successfully installed a Divi theme and I'm ready to rock and roll, okay? So now what you're gonna do is you're going to start creating pages. I'm gonna go click on pages. You know what? 
let me go back. I'm going to go back to Divi because there's a few things that you're going to want to do. Um, of course, start going through these different tabs and there's, you could take a look, but you want to go from one to the next and start adding certain things. And I'm just going to show you the ones that you want to add right now. So you're going to want to add your logo. So I'm going to go ahead and add my logo. Let's see, I am doing, make sure I'm in the right place. Do I want to have a white background? Let's see, I'm just trying to think. Okay, I'm going to do, I'm going to do my header black. And so I'm going to do my logo white. Okay, so I've uploaded my logo for my new website, Signature Brand Marketing. Um, everything else in here, you're not going to really want to mess with at this point. So click Save Changes. So get your logo installed. That's the first thing. Now, as far as the rest of these, navigation, I mean, you may want to like start playing with these later. But right now, you don't necessarily know what you're going to do. So let's just like leave everything the way it is and then plan to change some of these later as we need them. So that is theme options. The next thing is theme builder. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to, and this is like brand new, which is super awesome. It allows you to create global headers and footers and everything. So... I don't actually have any of this created yet. So let's see what happens. This is like build a global header. Yay. This is cool. You're going to learn with me. So basically your header is what's on. Oh, we don't want to take the chore. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I have no idea what that did. Oh, because I clicked save. Okay, build from scratch. We're gonna do a, let's see, completely big header. Mm. I'm, you know what? I'm gonna come back to this later. Cause I want, if you can hear screaming in the background. We're gonna get out of here. Come, I'm gonna come back to this. Cause I don't know how these global header and footers, I know the purpose, but I don't know how to create them yet. So let's go, let's go past the theme builder to the theme customizer. Well, it sounds like we have children being. Okay, so this is what we wanna do next is go to our general settings, site identity, um, oh my gosh, I thought I did this already. All right, I have no idea what I'm what I'm going to do with that. So, um, so you put your site title and your tagline. Your site icon is really important. So I'm going to go ahead and find an icon that I want to use, and I'm going to go ahead and see if I can hopefully find it. It's my diamond here. Oh no, I don't want to use that because I want to use a a PNG of my diamond because. All right, well, I'm not quite sure where my, I see my diamond. I find my diamond, but I don't know if I actually have it. 
is just the diamond. So I'm going to come back to that. I know I have it somewhere, but either way. So your slight icon here, I'll use a different one. I'm going to use this because it's my face and it's a PNG, which means it has a transparent background. And when I choose that, what this does is, um, you know, the tab up at the top of your computer where you've got like all of the different tabs open, you want to have something there that is unique for your website. So your image, your logo, mine would be my little diamond logo. Um, but you want to make sure you update that. So hit club publish. You've got your title, your tagline, your icon. We're going to back up layout settings. Um, we're not going to mess with any of this at this point, but we want to work on typography. This is where you're going to choose your text size. I'm going to go up to say, I, maybe I use too big type, but I like bigger type. Um, header, body line, and you can see how things change. So I'm going to put one and a half. Header text, you can see it's already 30. So if I want my header to be a little bit bigger, let's do 45. Header spacing, zero. Line, perfect, perfect. So my font, let's see. I'm going to change my font just for the heck of it so you guys can see what I'm doing. I know I don't like Aladdin, but see how it changes my header font. And now on the different pages, you can change and make everything custom. Like I know I use playlist a lot or Playfair display. So you can see I use that. I use Playfair display on my DPWN site and I like it because it's nice and clean, but not too swishy. Um, I use, you can actually download your own fonts here. So that's another thing too that you can do. All right, we're going to just keep this. And then the body font, like I, I like oxygen. I might have to actually find it instead of typing it in. Railway is kind of cool too because it's simple font, but you can see how the W is a little unique. But I I use railway a lot, or I'll use oxygen. I don't know. I like oxygen. We all need oxygen, right? So it's just simple, really simple. And then my body link color. If you want to change that, you can. Again. Every one of your pages can be completely customized, but if you want to make it super simple and not have to customize everything, I don't like this Kibo. Let's go back to plate. Oh, this time ago. Yeah, we're just going to go that. All right, these are the fonts we're going to use just for now. And now your typography is set and we don't have to worry about background color scheme. Only other thing I want to change is my color. Oh, no. Huh. Hold on. Typography. Oh, it doesn't actually give you any more of the, oh, here, header text color. So I'm going to change my text color for my header, just so you can see, because I'm using this. Eight F one eight three O. And I plan to use this red for a lot because it's the same red, uh, red of my logo. And I don't like that header text size. It's just a little too big. We're gonna do 40. Publish. And honestly, that's the only customizing I would suggest at this point is the site identity. Um, yeah, and then the typography in the general settings. The rest of it I would kind of come back to later because you'll see why. Let's close out. So those are just some basics that you want to uh, to do. And then let's do our first page. And I'm going to make this short now because I want to show you how super cool it is. We're going to just take this sample page um, 
And I'm going to show you how to kind of pick a really cool look for your website using this awesome theme. All right, so this is a sample page that's there already. You can use the sample page as kind of like your sample design. And this is what you're gonna see. Now, this is not a post. This is not like a blog post. This is like your page. This is gonna be your homepage design. And your homepage design should be kind of like a framework of what everything else is. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click use the Divi Builder. Edit with the Divi Builder. It may take you a couple steps to get through this. But what's super cool is what's coming up next. You're going to do this middle one that says choose a pre-made layout and you're going to browse their layouts. But what happens now is you're going to be able to see all of these layouts and they all come free with this theme. So depending on what you want your website to look like, you take a, a theme that they already have and then you go with it. So I found one that I liked. Where is it? Of course, I'm not gonna find it today. Look at all of these. It's so fun. I'm gonna go back through them a little slower so we can do a donut shop theme. Even though you don't have a donut shop, you can have website that uses their theme and you just change the images. Oh. Butcher, like I've never seen a butcher that has a website, but I'm sure there are. Look at this, all of these different and they're always coming out with new themes, which is what's so cool. <laughs> Just looking back at all of them. Cryptocurrency, cool. Of course, I'm not gonna find the one that I found the other day that I fell in love with. Yeah, I think that was, I think that's it. I'm gonna keep looking through them just to make sure. Yeah, so I'm gonna do this one. And you can see here, and of course you can look at all of them, but once you pick one, you can see all of the cool elements that it contains from all of the different pages, case studies, pricing, like this is all of the different designs that they have. I'm gonna back up. Restaurant. Let's look at them all again, just to make sure. Copywriter, let's look at this one. This is kind of cool because it's like, I like how it's just kind of very clean, but then has an asymmetrical look. I don't know, I like that one too. Okay, so copywriter. But what's cool is you can find one that you like and you can use, look, let's look at this one, marathon. Yeah, I don't like these colors, but that's okay. You can always change the colors. That's cool too, because I want to actually put a video on mine. Hmm. All right, well, I'm not gonna spend all day looking at all of these designs. Oh, look at that one, interior design, look at that. Well, I guess it's not as cool as I thought it was.
This is kind of cool. Look at the locksmith, how it's got that swishiness to the header. So it's got the asymmetrical header, but then it's got that like grayness on it, which I kind of think is kind of cool. All right, so we're gonna take this one, use this layout. And you can actually view a live demo as well, but we're gonna use this, because I think it's kind of cool. And I'm not a locksmith, but we're gonna go ahead and use their look and feel. All right, look at this. So now basically it's it's added everything. I think that's kind of cool. And since I'm gonna put a video on this background and it's just gonna be there and you can see all of these, like it's downloaded, this is like the About Us page and Contact Us page. Um, but we've actually downloaded the whole thing. So let's go ahead and save this. And there's, I can see here, I did the wrong header. I'm gonna put like a black header and stuff, but there's, those are all different adjustments. But you just keep playing with all of this. And I'm gonna get rid of this because hide floating panel. Oh wait, hide, there we go. Um, so this is basically what's really cool about this is this is what your web, web page looks like. And with Divi, you've got all these different sections. And you can see there's a section in here and then inside that section, there's like rows and in each row there's elements. Um, and this is what it's gonna look like on your computer. And on the bottom side, you can actually change. I don't know if you can see this on the bottom left. I don't wanna use my pencil because my pencil then would be showing on everything, but you can change from uh, a, a, what it's gonna look like on a, an iPad as well as what it's gonna look like on a phone. And see how it just changes, so it just keeps evolving. So let's go back to the, the, the PC, but now what's really cool is the, the one on the very left is the framework. So what this is gonna do is it's going to collapse everything to, to show you what it looks like as the framework of your site. And as I mentioned earlier, you've got this blue section here that will contain like a green section, one, two, three green sections and in each green section there's like a gray element and you can actually close this blue section up and they all go away so they're basically closing them like an accordion okay so you've got your header your hero header about us services call to action and footer so you have all of this on this one page and why i'm showing this is because now i'm going to go back to remember you've got the blue complete section, the green is a row, and the gray are the elements in that row. And you can see this row has one complete row all the way across. This one has two, so it's got a button, but then here you can actually put another button in or whatever, so these are the elements. So let's say we're gonna add text. Okay, so we're going to just so sample text. You'll see in a moment what that is. So this has got two columns. And I'm going to just click save. I always like to save. We're going to go back to the desktop view. And you can see here's that button. So here's the section. You can see the blue section. You can see the green row, another green row and another green row. But in this green row, there are actually two sections and you can tell that by this, this little icon here are the sections and you can see there's two sections. We can make it three sections and now there's three sections and that button got moved to the middle section. Let's go back to two sections. And then over here is where we put our sample text. And then you just keep adding elements in each of those sections. And the reason why they did it this way is because I'm going to go back to the framework. So they could have just keep adding elements to there, but they wanted to have a two row element. And the only way to do two elements in the same row is to add another row. 
So let's go to another row about us. Now look at they have, they actually have it sectioned where they've got a half of the page and then two quarter pages. So you can see they have a half of the page on the right hand side and two quarter pages is the layout for that specific row. And then in that row, that's about us. So let's see what they did. So here, so this is the quarter, the half page with all of this text. And then these are content images, content images. So they make it super simple for you to do whatever you want um, with this theme, which is what I really like. So let's go back and we're gonna save that. So that's the sample page. I'm gonna go back to the dashboard. I'm gonna go back to pages. I'm gonna add another page. Sample two. And then I'm gonna hit publish, publish. Oh gosh, everything looks different just in the couple days that I was in it. Use DB Builder. Now again, I can use a pre-made layout. I can clone existing page or start from scratch. I'm gonna go back here. What was that? Um, locksmith. Where did that lock? Well, you'd think they'd be in alphabetical order, but they're not. Here it is. So I didn't use, I was must have been on the about page because this is the one. Look at how they're all different. I'm going to do the home. Now I'm going to download the home page or a landing page, services. So I'm going to go back to the home use this and now we're going to download that page that specific page so see how this page looks different but it's the same look and feel and it, but it's a completely different layout and if i want like i could go ahead and delete this whole section. I could do whatever I want, like here. I don't want to have this information here. All I got to do is delete it. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. So I go back to this time clock and go back and now it's back. So you know what, I'm not going to get into a bunch of design stuff because now you've got the basic wisdom of what you need to do. Um, this is really from here. There are so many ways that you can go with creating a, an awesome design, um, but just keep playing with it. But the best, the really the best scenario is to find something you really like so you can spend the least amount of time of, as possible making changes. Um, so here, so this is an element that's a text element. All you do is you click on that little gear and you're able to go in and change all of that. See, so you could have whatever you want. Let's get rid of just the whole word services. Okay, you wanna add a different tax. You wanna change the background. You go up here to the blue gear and that's probably the background image right here. So you just change the background image and now you've got a different thing in there. And I think you can actually even add a video. So let's see, I'm gonna, let's see what happens if I, upload a video. Oh, I don't think it really matters because may take a while because videos are pretty big files, even though it's a small little video meant for this. Um, it still may take a while to kind of populate.
It's almost done. Yay. Okay, I don't know what happened to it. Well, it shows it's there. Hmm. So my image disappeared, but my video. Yeah, I, you know what? The file could have been too big. Oh, wait, I'll make it video. Let's see, maybe, it, there it is. There we go, upload an image. Oh, okay, I had it in the wrong spot. There it is. Okay, so my video's there. Oh, I love that. Isn't that cool? So see how you can like just do the coolest things if you just kind of keep playing around with it. Like I love that. I love it's just so cool looking for me. Um, peaceful, cool, great, cool, and it just looks awesome. So come back and see how my website evolves. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or not, but I think it's pretty darn nifty. Um, and you can do the same thing. And there's a lot of good resources to get free little videos. I use. Um, I will come back in another video and show you how to find free images and free videos. And that's all for now because I don't want this one to be any longer than it already is. So hopefully you found this to be helpful and hopefully I find my little task bar here soon so I can actually uh, jump out of this and see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.